hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the dynamic similarity between the model and the prototype in fluid mechanics before building the actual prototype we first build a small scale replica of the prototype that is the model for dynamic similarity between the model and the prototype the ratio of the corresponding forces at the corresponding points in the model and the prototype should be equal okay these models are usually designed on the basis of the ratio of forces which is dominating in the phenomena the laws on which the models are designed for the dynamic similarity are called model laws or laws of similarity i have been given a question which states that the ratio of lengths of a submarine and its model is 20 is to 1 the speed of the submarine that is the prototype is 10 meter per second the model is to be tested in wind tunnel we have to find the speed of model in wind tunnel also determine the ratio of drag resistance between the model and its prototype taking the value of kinematic viscosities of sea water and air as 0.012 stokes and 0.016 stokes respectively and the density of sea water and the air is 1030 kg per meter cube and 1.24 kg per meter cube respectively first uh, uh, we will see what we have been given in the question so in our question the prototype this will be tested in the uh, sea water and the model will be tested in the uh, wind tunnel so for a prototype the fluid is sea water and for model the fluid is air so for prototype the speed of the prototype in sea water this is vp this is 10 meter per second and uh, proto for prototype fluid is sea water and the kinematic viscosity of sea water this is given as 0 0.012 stokes or you can write it in si units that is 0 0.012 into 10 raised power minus 4 meter square per second similarly density of sea water this is given as 1030 kg per meter cube for model let the speed of the model in air this is equal to vm and our model this will be tested in wind tunnel so fluid will be air kinematic viscosity of air this is given as 0 0.016 stokes which is equal to 0 0.016 into 10 raised power minus 4 meter square per second and density of air this is given as 1.24 kg per meter cube also uh, the uh, ratio of the proto length of prototype to the length of the model or you can say the scale of the prototype is to model this is 20 is to 1 so, uh, so for dynamic similarity between the model and the submarine we can see that the viscous resistance is to be overcome and uh, hence for the fully submerged submarine the Reynolds number for model and the prototype should be same always remember that reynolds model law is used in the situation where viscous forces are predominant this is usually in the pipe flow case and the resistance experienced by submarine airplanes or fully immersed bodies and the models which are designed for dynamic similarity on reynolds model law uh, it states that the reynolds number for the model and the prototype should be same so here the uh, Reynolds number for the model and the prototype this should be equal so Reynolds uh, number this is given as V into velocity into diameter divided by kinematic viscosity so ratio so uh, Reynolds number for prototype this will be VP into DP divided by nu P and Reynolds number for model this will be VM into DM divided by nu M okay putting values so velocity of model in air this will be equal to nu m divided by nu p into dp divided by dm into vp so kinematic viscosity of air this is given as 0 0.016 into 10 raised power minus 4 kinematic viscosity of uh, this sea water this is 0 0.012 into 10 raised power minus 4 dp by dm this is same as lp by lm okay because the actual prototype this is 20 times larger than the model so if the length is uh, 20 times greater than uh, length of prototype is 20 times greater than the uh, this uh, model so diameter will be also 20 times uh, 
uh, in diameter will be also 20 times greater than the model okay because the scale of the prototype and the model is 20 is to 1 so dp by dm this is, will be equal 20 divided by 1 and velocity of prototype in seawater this is given as 10 meter per second this gives me the velocity of model in air this is 266.67 meter per second it means that if we have to satisfy the dynamic similarity between the model and the prototype the velocity of the model should be 266.67 meter per second for the dynamic similarity between the model and the prototype to be same after that the drag force or force this is given as mass into acceleration mass is density into volume so it can be written as rho into l cube and acceleration is velocity divided by time so this can be also written as rho into l square divided by v square okay simply take one l from this l cube and l divided by t this will be v v into v will be v square so this gives me the drag force equal to rho l square into v square after that we have to find the ratio of drag force between the prototype and the model so let's assume that fp and fm denote the drag force for prototype and the model respectively so taking the ratio it will be fp by fm this will be rho p into l p square into vp square divided by rho m into l m square into vm square or you can write this as rho p by rho m into l p by l m whole square into v p by v m whole square putting values density of sea water in which the prototype will be tested is given as 1030 kg per meter cube and density of model the density of fluid in which model will be tested is given as 1.24 kg per meter cube lp by lm this is 20 so it will be into 20 square and vp velocity of prototype this is 10 meter per second and velocity of model which we just found out this is 266.67 so this gives me the ratio of the uh, for, uh, ratio of the drag force between the prototype and the model equal to 467.22. So this is how you can find the dynamic similarity between the model and the prototype for the case when the Reynolds model law is applicable. I hope this solution video was clear and you definitely learned something new from this video. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.